Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky everybody, Elon Paul here in episode 7 of our normal playthrough in the Orbital Edition. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching this series, really appreciate it, and hey, I'm going to say right at the very beginning, thank you so much. Please hit the like button if you could, that does help our channel out quite a bit, and hit the subscribe button if you like the content you've been seeing. Got a lot, lots and lots of videos sitting in there in the YouTube channel, over 400 of them, so please, feel free to peruse. And thank you very much for being here. So let's get started. We're going to be doing our scientist today. Scientist terminal needs to be filled by a person. So we're going to head up to the space station and we're going to find our scientist now, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go over here. Scientific research is what we need to choose first. And it will tell us. Uh, let me see. Galaxy map. Okay, it tells us we're going to find them in a new star system. So we do need to head out to space. Beautiful planet we're on here. Pulse drive out of the atmosphere. And I've been working on the graphics. Hopefully they look a little better now. Alright, where's it sending us? Oh, okay, over to this system here. Now we don't have, if you check this out, we don't have the ability to check what kind of uh, economy the system has. So we're just going to go ahead and select the system. Oops, too far. And we're on our way. I don't know what kind of economy or conflict setting this system is in, but sooner or later we're going to get some upgrades for our ship or ships and be able to check on our own. <laughs> and here we are. All right, good deal. So we're going to probably be heading to the space station, I'm guessing. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's pretty far away. Okay. Pulse it. Yep. Okay. Really enjoying seeing these different space stations that have been populating our galaxies. Hmm, this one has a little bit of a what? Reddish, if you will. Maybe a slightly orange haze to it. I like the purple ones better. Alright, looks like our buddy is where? Oh, straight ahead, there he is. Alright, before we head up there, let's hit this uh, trade terminal. I just want to see if there's anything there for me. As you know, we're trying to upgrade our exosuit. More often, I can find them in an inventory here. Better. Yep, not saying anything. Okay. Not usually going to find them in space stations, but with the changes they made recently, they're going to heck. All right, Operator Entity Rul Rulskoga. Unknown life form, I passed my test. You, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion from structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necess necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. We're going to hire them. You think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. Well, that ain't creepy. All right. Now, these terminals, sometimes you look around the space station and see vulnerable, ser vulnerable servers. And you can get stuff. Like this time I get a little bit of credits from it. But if you look around, you can find other things. If anything that has red lights on it, it looks like it might be broken. Might get some stuff. I've gotten items before too, so here's one. It's, I sometimes get nanites. There's any more over here. These guys are on the floor, but usually you can't access them. Okay, we already did this one right. Looks like it. Let's head down here and take a look. I don't think we ever checked the weapons terminal. Let's take a look. Ugh. Yeah. Go to the other side. Yeah, same thing. What is this? Isn't that neat? I don't know why I never noticed that before. Pretty cool. Is this a uh, suit upgrade? Oh, yeah. I forgot we can do that here. My bad. Alright, so we've already upgraded, gotten this 
set up. I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading my technology slots. And start getting them built out a little bit. We need more spots over there. Alright, let's head this way and check to see what might be laying around. Plants usually have some stuff. Oh, that terminal looks like it's falling. Nope, not letting me in there. Okay. Anything over here? I don't see anything. Okay. Usually there's more stuff laying around. It looks like we have a traveler. Ooh. Let's talk. I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent, as if they were not truly there. Witness. Life form dons a mask of undulating nanite clusters. For a moment, their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself, looking at myself. I'm going to die. I'm sure of it. So we push him away? Do we brace him? Do we die? Or do we just leave? Ah. Huh. This one's a tough one. I don't remember which way I want to go on this. I seem to always choose wrong. Let's die. Let's see what happens. I'm really curious. Die. I died. I know I did. I felt it like sinking, like being watched forever. Yet here I am again. The stranger smiles at me, claiming that they will see me again. Before I leave, they give, give me a gift. So he seems really happy. That looks like the right one. He just gave me 107 nanites. So let's go ahead and talk to him one more time. Uh, I dreamt of the creation of an ultimate weapon, a path that would require me to do unspeakable things. This moment, whatever you do, you will contribute to my glory. Let us trade. I'm going to ask where they came from. Traveler Mayan offers directions to a place of interest. Okay, good. So that's going to give us a spot on the ground. Which means we'll get a glyph. So we'll get the early glyphs. An unknown grave, which means an upgrade. Oh boy, there's so many good things to get out of this. So we're going to return to the, to the base in just a moment. Let's get this unknown grave first. It's on that planet straight ahead. So let's see. An unknown moon. Scan it. Hmm, ancient bones. That's good. What about this planet here? I haven't scanned it yet. Radioactive. Interesting. It's pretty. But not going to happen. Let's go to the unknown grave. Let's get ourselves lined up and we're on our way. Now this planet is all solid gray looking so usually that means there's a storm going on. So we'll have to be a little careful. Yeah, see how closed up the clouds are. IMO means cold so we know it's a cold planet. Alright, there he is. off we go. Very cold planet. So here is the unknown grave. I asked pst, a question that no one had asked. It was a simple pst. The sentinels pst. What are the sentinels pst? Do they come from? Pst, made it my life's work to find pst, Left logs, records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Get the glyph. And with it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. Lead the fallen travel in peace. So there's our glyph and a memory fragment. Ooh. That's a storm crystal. Let's take said storm crystal. I didn't realize that was this kind of planet. Awesome. It looks like we have some buried tech there. I'll go ahead and grab it if we can. Awesome. There we go. machinery. We'll do it while we're here, while we're still alive. At least we'll get nanites out of it. Let's take a look around because I didn't realize we had storm crystals nearby. Storm crystals are really, really handy. Once we get the technology to do so, we can make a or piper corpse, so that's going to be great. Good deal. Scan the animals. Don't scan the animals. Biological entities. Oh, someone's attacking me. Five of eleven. I'm not getting all of them. There we go. 
we got six. So that's good. How far away? 244, 375. Let's head for that. I only got two crystals. I really would love it. Much more if I could. Sometimes they come in clusters. The storm lasts. Yep. Three of them. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, 162. Let's head for that one. have cold protection, this comes in handy. If we didn't, this would make it very difficult. Ah, wrong button. Wasn't trying to land that down. More right in front of us. Let's head for those. It looks like we've got a structure over there. Got to call our ship and we... Well, we may not be able to. I think our launch thrusters are going to be a lower. That's okay. This looks like a good cluster up Excellent. All right. These things are, like I said, they're worth quite a bit. So get what you can when you can. Structure over there. Storm crystal is pretty far away. Very, very handy. These things are probably a little closer than we see. Here. Okay. 200. 70. The storm's probably going to be ending really soon here. I'm going to keep busting my ankle. Ooh, I forgot we had three upgrades. Before. Suit. Okay. Uh, 289. Let's head in that direction. See how fast it falls? Just use your dioxide. We're getting a lot of these guys. That's good. Great. All right. Ships back that way. Head this way. These are worth. Ah, see. Oh well. Yeah, they immediately turn off when the storm starts clearing. So can't get them after that. See, it's the last of it. So we got a natural curiosity storm crystal, but we can't. Do it. Okay. I think we got a good cropping of them, though. What do we get? Yeah, thirteen of them. Right. Next. And we got an air burst engine. One of those? I don't think we do. Very nice. That's handy. That means we recharge as we're falling. Very handy if you get hit by tornadoes. Ooh, this is good stuff. Sodium nitrate in crystal form. Since we can gather it, we will. That'll help us during upgrades. Okay, good. Wow, this worked out nicely. I'm glad we did that. Okay, so we got a good upgrade. Very nice. Should be... No, no buried tech here. This is no damage machinery. Grab a word. Some nanites. Like I said... It's still early game, you might as well grab these things. I mean, a lot of it is really easy to come by anyway, but... Get one of my pluses back and my... Some more nanites. Excellent. Okay, what do we have on the way here? So, we're going to stop as we try to find, or we see, I should say, any um, more animals that we can discover. If we see first aid kits, we're going to build up some stuff. Some ships flying over. Okay, good. Alright, I think we're good to go. Look for cargo drops a lot. Looks like we have some technology over here. Do need to head back, but always 
good to get stuff while you're going. There we go. Good. Got some more nanites. First person retrieval of technology. But that. I'm going to scan those animals. What are we up to? Let's see. Should tell me. 8 to 11. So we need three more animals and that's it. Kind of handy if we do that. Or is the natural parasite. Ooh. Other animals? That's nine, right? We got two more to go. So I'm guessing... I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say one underground and one flying. Let's find out, shall we? So we need to do... There we go. Ground, ground and ground and underground. Okay, so not flying and underground, ground and underground. Okay, good. So underground is going to be um, a cave, obviously. Those are really hard to come by, unfortunately. But it's okay. Ground is just what you thought. Is there any red dots anywhere? Of an undiscovered creature that we have yet to find. Thermal protection's falling again. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this technology. Okay, good. Take a look. I'd love to get the natural burial site because those bones are sometimes worth quite a bit. You know, and then you get a really, really good. It's not terribly far away. Let's go check it out. Whoa, okay. Opened up on the enemy. Okay, I'm not sure why it has to keep telling me that it's finding extreme temperatures, but whatever. Just getting some of that condensed carbon that we have there. Take another look, see if we have any creatures nearby. Because if there's one ground creature and we can discover it, then all we need is the one underground creature. Okay, not seeing it. So let's get the buried bones. Looks like there's only one here, unfortunately. And it might be a good one. It is. Rare, 668. So it's worth probably a couple hundred thousand. Almost 700. Well, very nice. Let's go ahead and grab stuff out of this. we got a storm coming in again. I don't want to spend too much time here. There we go. And our ship is... Which way? Should be to the right, I think. There you are. Let's go ahead and highlight. We're going to head in that direction. Because the ship itself is actually near a cave, so we can take a look around. Now, sometimes more different creatures come out in storms, so... And... There you go. Storm crystals are popping up. So how far away is the ship? 110. Yeah, let's grab one more set of storm crystals. Yeah, that one over there should do fine. Where is it? Right there. There we go. Looks like three. Good. Excellent. Okay, that's good. That should get us where we need. Take a look around. We're going to look at any creatures on the ground level. We're looking for little red dots. Yet to be discovered. Let's head back to the ship. We're going to head in here as a protection as well. Hopefully as a way of finding... See, there we go. See the temperature drop back to some semblance of normality. And just keep an eye open. 
back here. I want to see if I can't find the last two creatures. Because that would be really, really good for us. Because finding that many creatures on a planet, you can see the discovery gives us a lot of it. And it's really worth our time. If we can do it. And I know you're thinking, why are you checking outside the cave for underground creatures? Because they a lot of times will start walking around outside the cave, right around the entrances. Not just inside. Let's go a little deeper into the cave and take a look. Sometimes that helps them re respawn, if you will. But they're very difficult to discover sometimes. Light. There we go. Now we can see. Not seeing anything just yet. So, we may have to give up on this one. I don't want to spend the entire episode here standing underground looking for stuff. Yeah, I think we're done. Okay, well, it's worth a shot anyway. That's okay. The ship should be right over here. Right? Ship. Ship up there. Good. And the storm's clearing. Good timing. Okay. Well... Good deal. And you see, oh, the temperature's plummeting now. Look at that. Getting to a nice balmy, what, 90-something below zero? Yeah, 137 below zero Fahrenheit. 92 Celsius. Okay. I'm just taking one more look just to see if I find anything. I know my thermal protection is falling, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, well, all right, it's worth a shot. Now that we're recharged, we can just jump in the ship. See, not enough thruster juice. Uranium it is. All right, good, we're on our way. On our way. So that was really handy. So best, best. space station's too, a little bit too far away from us. So what we're gonna do is we're going to head back via galaxy map. That'll get us there just as quick. Okay. Hyperspace we go. And I've done some testing. I've been going into hyperspace and pulse drive and checking out the video myself. I think things are clearing up. It gets slightly pixelated. But for the most part, it stays pretty clear, which is getting better. So some of the adjustments I've been making have been working. There we go. Okay. Now we just gotta go to our Bella over there. Let's get more ended. Return to your base. Okay, fine, fine. That would be very, very demanding. Slowly. So we've got our inventory. A good amount of storm crystals. Those are handy. I'm going to put them in my inventory. I may sell a few. I don't decide it yet. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we got a life support thing. I don't know if I've em emptied that one yet. Check it out. No, I haven't. Excellent. So that gives me another health restoration. All right, let's go in here and store some stuff. So we're going to put all 10 of these. We're going to put all 10 of these. Six more of these. I'll put them in there. Larval cores. So we're going to sell those, like I said, along with this. And I think what we'll do is we'll sell the six we have. 1.2 million. I mean, come on. These over here are worth 2 million. Just buy the 10 of them. That's fantastic. That's going to give us a good chunk of change. 
All right, so we got a bunch of stuff we can sell. All right, excellent. Let's go greet our Corvax scientist. A fine base traveler. As of course befits your hor honorable status. I almost said horrible. Honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Welcome them. Honor to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax tribute. Take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid. Liquids close to Corvax hearts. Um, thank you for lubricant and acid. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb, and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. Okay, the Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use the substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Except, joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Yeah, he's just a little bit off. All right. First things first, let's go sell some stuff in the little base I have here. Settlement. Trying to save up on navigation data. I sp spent some. So, alright, sell storm crystals and the larval cores. I'm going to sell all of them for 1.6. Very nice. And what else can we sell? A charred. And a little bit of drop on those, but that's okay. Anything else we could sell? I think that's it. Yeah, we're good. 17 million we got now. Cool. Alright. Alright, good. Okay, it looks like we're good on everything else. Let me just check this guy over here. I don't know if he sells anything. Let's see. Oh, he does have a big chart, so every now and then he'll reap repopulate that, so I'll get more as I go along. Excellent. Alright, we'll use those later. Not today. Not now. Alright. So we're good. Um, let's see. So we need to get... Okay. Cave over here. Need marrow bulb. That is definitely not a cave. So, find a cave. The best thing to do is you look at the terrain. And you look for underground things. Subterranean relics are a good idea. Uh, what else? We're going to take a walk around. Flying around in the ship isn't going to help as much. Sometimes you can see stuff in the air. Oh, another life support thing. Yeah, but health restored. We should be just about full strength at this point. Anything? Anything? No. Go up here. Yep, caves nearby. I just don't know where it would be. Hello there. Huge armadillo my backs. Go this way a little further. And again, just take a look at the ground. Hmm, buried minerals. Ooh, right there. Humming sacks. That's what you're looking for. If it's there, it's a cave over this way. Take a look around for an entrance. If you don't see one, you're going to probably have to dig yourself. Alright, so I don't see any. There's a humming sack below me. I'm going to go ahead and get the terrain manipulator. In there. Like I'm in. Okay, good. You want to get your vining beam and just harvest marrow bulbs. So let me just check real quick, make sure the log has me doing this. Okay, good. I don't know how many he needs. It'll show me in just a minute. Oh, okay, we need 30. So there you go. That should be it. Okay, so we need cobalt. We might have everything. Yeah, we already had cobalt in our inventory. Okay, so, and I'm not interested in humming sacks. Let's take our... Made? Get out. Okay, good. Go back. 
crystal. Right there. There you go. These are glowing crystals, and it's a good idea to harvest them for expensive minerals. See, glowing mineral, remember that? Those are very good things to get. Especially early game, you can come across them. We'll check out to see how much we got out of it in just a minute. Let's see. Here. Let's check our inventory. Oh, wow. I read a site. Worth 150,000. Very nice. Again, early game. We're going to go ahead and sell it. Good deal. All right. Back to our scientist. Traveler, I have prepared your blueprints. Please, but please hurry. Something has happened. The Corvac seems changed from the happy soul they were on my... They were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. So we can give them the marrow bulb. Corvac leans forward, anxious for the rest of the materials. Cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but Traveler, they have. My people have abandoned me. As of 104.3 seconds ago, 32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing. The sight of the Corvax convergence. Ew. So we have microprocessors and now large refiners. Isn't that cool? I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Opera entity, World Skoga, is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Carvax hive mind. The scientist asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower, so we'll go ahead and do that. Remove it. And he turns into a core remove little entity offline. Okay. Now before we do, here, we'll be heading there in just a moment. We now have the ability to build a large refiner. The good thing about these is that they don't require fuel to run them, but I do need sodium nitrate in order to make it in five microprocessors. So let's get a little bit of sodium nitrate, shall we? Sodium, 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 sodium. There you are. We'll let that run, and we need to build microprocessors. So to do that, we check out the formula. First, 40 chromatic metal and one tubes. How are we doing our chromatic metal? Let's start. Uh, we're down to 588, so we'll build it over here. Let's go ahead and put five of these. Okay, good, and it looks like we need more carbon. We're running low on carbon, too. And now we can make our one, two, three, four. And we know we have some in inventory, but that's okay. So we just bu built them. Let's get our sodium nitrate. It's just about finished. I know we had the, like I said, I know we had the microprocessors in our inventory, but it's not like we're not going to use these things, so... Okay, and now we can build a large refiner, which requires more chromatic metal, you'll notice. So we're going to start needing more of a chromatic metal. So let's build this huge behemoth right here. A little bit more. There we go. That looks good. All right, and the great thing about this is that not only can you do something, you now can combine materials to get new materials. So... If we go to our starship, you're going to notice that we are running low on chromatic metal. We only have 188 left. We do have some copper, so I'm going to take that out and put it in here. If you add... Wait a second, let me check that out. It's a 2 to 1 ratio. Add chromatic metal to it, how much do you get? Where'd it go? But I just had it. Did it go in my suit inventory? Yes, it did. 188. Yeah, it doesn't give as much as I thought. That doesn't make any sense. It should make twice as much. But th then it really does make a difference. That's what it boils down to. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out some of... Th Is that all of our copper? No, it's not. Let's go ahead and get that going. I am going to make it an even number. There we go. 
because otherwise it'll waste the last one. So, all right, let's go put my chromatic metal back. I'm going to get rid of the marrow bulbs. You don't really need them, so just get rid of them. They do give you sodium, so that's fine if you turn it into something. Did I get everything out of there? I did. Okay, good. So we're going to let that go. Okay, so it must be nighttime. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Requires no power and no fuel to run these large refiners. They run on their own, so that's a really, really good thing. So we're going to get this chromatic metal out of here, and then we'll move on. Now, I do need more, so as we come across it, I may start purchasing some. Okay, our inventory is now complete. Okay, good deal. So we've got everything we need. What's next here? Is looking pretty good. Okay. Love that new tool. That's pretty good. Oh, look. I keep forgetting to do the pirate transponders. Okay, that's fine. It's down here. Alright. So next is we're going to go to the transmission tower. I think it told us where that was. Uh, let's step out. Tell us where we're going. I don't see anything yet. Okay, do we have to select it? Alright, I think we have to scan for it. Target suite. I think it's choosing the wrong one. There it is. Right there. Slow. Yep, you see the tower up there. Is that it? Oh, okay, this one is it, I think. I thought we were looking for a different type of tower, but yeah, I remember. This is it. Wink. Okay. You know, we have some broken machinery here, which means we have great tech. So let's do both real quick. Take advantage of every opportunity. I keep telling you all. You'll get to a point where you won't have to do this kind of crap anymore, so. Good to go. The other one's just a plant. But at least we got some nanites out of it. 62. And you we go immediately. Go. Okay, we're all set there. So into the tower. Take stuff. Stuff. Hello, stuff. Come on, stuff. Thank you, stuff. What is that? Oh, there is something in there. No, it's just plants. Okay. Alright. Ooh, nice fancy place. Let's take fancy place and get stuff here while we're I think we're done with the first day. Yeah, we're now at maximum. Okay, good. So we don't have to worry about that. Get our nanites. Excellent. Good deal. Okay, transmission tower. So we're going to do this, I think I'm going to try to do it twice. Uh, it says, I prepare to insert Corvax Intelligence Core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the convergence awaits. Hear the judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic Corvax Science Unit Corrupted by Traveler Interaction. Personality Overwritten. Anomaly Involvement Detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax Science Unit from Convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Ooh. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal Foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk Assessment. Entropic. Galactic Destruction slash Rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to see if I can do it again, because if I can... This one should be able to find... Oh, terminal continues to broadcast its signal, but there's no response. Radio waves make their way across the void unanswered. Broadcast 
personal communicator ID. Wonder what would happen. I don't think I've ever done this. There is no reply. All right, so I can't use it to find a crash ship. That's what I was hoping for. Let's take care of that while we're thinking of it. The life support. There we go. Okay, on our way. Right. Over here. It's pretty close by. We probably could have just ran there. But since they both have landing pads, we're not really using anything. And there we go. Let's go plug this back into the scientist. Now, the thing about this here is... This takes a while, I think. Okay, hold on. Operator Entity Earl Skulgus shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter transmitter. Insert core. Shell reconnection in progress. All right, and you notice, yeah, there it is. Boot time remaining. We got an hour and a half. So this is not going to progress in this episode. So we are done here. So is there anything we wish to do? We can go back to him and get some stuff done. But you know what? Let's head out to the computer and base computer archives. Let's get that done. There we go. Archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 6%. New data. We're going to search the archives. Follows four additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded. Bzzz. Copying data to bzzz. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. So we're going to search for them. Base technology data extracted. Downloading plan. Downloading plans. Strange storage container plans restored. Oh, so this is where our zero storage container came from. Very nice. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Ah, uh, okay. So I could have gotten that earlier. I feel like a silly. Okay, let's go ahead and put the zero one here. Put them together. See if you connect them right side by side, the connection is made. See. Look at that. So we constructed it. Now that we've done that, we can go back to here and go to the next one. So let's do this a few more times. Input uh, recovery pass key to proceed. So we basically have to choose a word here. So I'm going to choose Gra because we're on the planet that is a Viking planet. Nope. Encrypted. We have to keep going. So let's go Corvax. Nope. Let's go U. Encrypted. Just got to keep going. Life form. Is. Already done all these words. Two. Oh, it's being a butt. <laughs> Bra again. Corvax. It's not going to let me in until we get the right words. Try Atlas. Nope. Uh, death. Uh, interloper. I've never had this much trouble. Convergence. Uh, traveler. Life form. Got it. Our okay, progress. Data recovered 15%. New data available. Uh, let's go our... Hmm. Let's go construction database. Downloading plans, personal upgrade module. Uh, data log from previous user recovered. Search archives. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Controls react to my touch. I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it. No sense of it before. You will archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. So what we normally have to do now is... You see it says construct a solar panel, which we've already done. And we need to research the base computer archive, so we can just keep going with this. We have an upgrade for our exosuit too, so that's pretty cool. Alright, passkey, here we go. Let's uh, start one. Two. Hey, got it what the word is. 27%. Uh, let's go to archives first. Glance back towards the wreck of my ship, nothing more than a dot. Walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. 
Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled. I'm going to do that. Exosuit technology data downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning de defragmentation. What do we get this time? A life support module. So let's see. We got two life support modules we can install if we wish. Let me see. Let's. I wish I could get another upgrade. Start putting stuff down there. Let's do something here. There we go. So let's see if we can go ahead and install this. We can always uninstall them later. We can get items from it. Because what does this give me? 11% and plus 5%. We'll get better upgrades than these later on. Um, but we can uninstall them later and we'll get items from it. So that'll be pretty good. All right, base computer. Okay, data recovered 32%. Uh, archives. This time we didn't have to do it the other way. They came up from surrounded back above ground now, but sure, they're following me. Should never have touched the eggs. Remember that? It whispering eggs. Additional data available. Construction locks recovered. Blueprints reassembled. Multi-tool technology. Ooh, multi-tool technology data extracted. Double. Neural stimulator plans restored. That's not a multi tool, but that's okay. Nice. We have all craft complete, beginning defragmentation. Okay. Let's see. So we'd have to install it. We don't have to, but we have to, if you know what I mean. We didn't get any multi tool upgrades here. That's really strange. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. I don't really need it. It does give us good upgrades with it. Actually, you know what? That gives us better upgrades than the other crap. Let's go ahead and uninstall one. See? See what I got out of it? Very nice. Let's install this. Okay. Good, good, good. We do need more carbon. Put this in our ship. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, that's done. Let's go do the next one. This seems kind of boring, but it's... I mean, if you think about it, if you're playing the game, this is really, really handy. I chose is that time. Go figure. 42% search. Bzz, the drone... Sig Sentinel drones... Bzz, patrols never seem to end. Claim bzz, so much from the Earth. Uh, construction locks. Multi-tool technology. Yeah, you didn't give it to me next time, last time. Efficient thrusters. That's not the same thing. That's for my ship. <laughs> uh, wiring loom. Okay, we can install this. It's actually very handy to have. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think we have another... We can go to our starship and install this. Where's our thrusters? Down here. We're going to go ahead and put this in. There we go. So efficient thrusters are now installed. 20% less launch cost, so that's handy. Go ahead and do the next segment. Ask key. Death. Nope. Is. Corvax. You're going to give me crap now, aren't you? Entity. Interloper. Got it. 58%. Archives. Having great success with advanced materials. Able to... Pst, far more efficient synthesis. It seems I can create... Pst, pathway to materials from all over the system. Additional data. Instruction. Base technology. Downloading plans. Shield lattice plans. That's not base technology. And we have to install it, unfortunately. And we need antimatter to do it. Okay, let's do that. So, let's do this. Make an antimatter. Shield lattice. We have to install it, or else it doesn't count. I mean, I guess I can leave it. We're taking up a lot of space up here, so I'll have to think about it later. Okay. That's done. All right. Give it a minute. I jumped the gun. Got to wait for the little thing to pop up right above the computer. And 
time now. Whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. I need to get one more word somewhere. Uh, it won't let me do it unless I learn one more alien. This guy learned me something here real quick. Uh, dialect. Oh, excellent. Great simple. Okay, we're done. So we got another word. There it is. Okay, so we can do this one more time. Uh, pass key. Uh, ah. Yeah. 61%. Search the archives. Working fast, psst, the fading sun. Set, set up camp in the foothills. Psst, hardly luxury. But it keeps out the cold and I'll be gone by morning anyway. Psst, perhaps some other traveler will shelter here one day. Okay. Construction logs. Downloading plans. Base lighting plans restored. Well, there we go. That's handy. Take sodium to make those, if I remember correctly. I have to learn a lot more words. Struck the white light. Let's see. That's this one, right? Yeah, five sodium. Dude, definitely. Let's put one on the outside here. Uh, let's put one... Let's see. I want one over here. Put one over here. Let's get one over here. Got a few of these in here, right? Notice it's not really much brighter in here. Why? Because we have to run power to them. That's right. Power it is. And we're just going to take it from there. It's not really important where we put it. It's nasty, right? It's got these wires everywhere. If you do the hidden wire thing, you don't have to worry about them being out in the open. So, there we go. A little more lit up in here now, right? You can see a little bit better, so that's good. Did I ever... Oh, I haven't made the other thing yet. I think I can make that yet. You can get a piece of technology that allows you to hide the wires. I don't have that yet. Yeah, not yet. We'll get that later. All right. We need to learn three more words before we can proceed. Okay. Well, that takes us pretty far in. All right. So we have to wait another at least an hour or more for the scientist to figure out what he's doing here. Um, if we had some knowledge stones nearby, not really that one. So, like, well, two. Let's see, two knowledge stones. Yeah, that seems to be it. Oh, three. Hmm. Could do it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Do do there, loading crab. Boink. So you see, in playing No Man's Sky, you really don't have to be as crazy. It doesn't have to be as crazy as you think. It could just be fun. Yeah, sometimes there's something in there. Hey, we got a traitor. You traitor, you. Let's see if I can get there in time. He must have landed while I wasn't looking. Obviously. Hopefully he got out of his... Oh, you dog, you. Really, I got some nanites I could spend too. That's the sad part. Uh, 246 anymore nearby? 285? Okay, let's go that way. Really wanted to get some stuff from that trader. That's a shame. Boink. Sorry. Did I just get you angry? No? Okay. Alright. You. Another word. Now, what is over here that's getting three stars? Curious deposit. Dude. What kind of a deposit are we looking at? How many? How many? How many? 
Not many. Not many. If it was like a 20 deposit one, that would be awesome. Because the curious deposit gives us a lot of mold. Let's go ahead and just get them rolling along real fast. They're all going to roll down here into the cave anyway. Who wasn't trying to look at you, buddy? Alright. So we can take the curious deposit, the runaway mold that we get from it, and we can turn that into nanites. And this is actually the, one of the best ways in the game to get nanites. thing is, 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 if you run away far enough, it repopulates. In other words, it respawns. Now we need to park. Let's go ahead and so how, many, how much did we get? Yeah, 3,000 runaway mold. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not a great deposit, like I said. But it's pretty darn good. Alright, where is that? I see that there is a... Yeah, there's one up there. A, uh, knowledge stone. Let's go ahead and grab that. Beautiful. So that's 21. Is it? Yeah, okay, so the basic computer archives are unlocked. And looks like we have some sodium nitrate in front of me. Let's go ahead and grab it. I love the fact that there's no, no uh, sentinels around to bother me about gathering all these materials. Great planet. Alright. Where to? Over that way. Anything else around here of interest? I mean, we found some really cool stuff here so far. Alright, let's head back. We do need carbon, like I said. Let's get some carbon. Really low on it. That's going to be our plants that we have here. Just grab that any that we can get. Now we're getting a lot of carbon. This is good. This is really good. seen a trader drop near me like that in a long time. Oops. Dropped into a hole. Come on, you can get out of there. Thank you. Is that one of the bugs? Can I get can I get a pet yet? Can't get. Can. Let's get that. Buddy, let's get ourselves a pet. Awesome, we have ourselves a pet. Rana Rana. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what we want to do is we want to... Not you. Where's my pet? Where'd he go? There he is. So what we want to do is we want to gently pet. Bring that heart all the way up to maximum. There we go. And give him a treat to get him fully loaded. There. Alright, great. These are awesome because you can ride these pets. They're fast. Doesn't seem so at first, right? But once you get moving, they're one of the fastest creatures you can be on. Especially if you can get an egg from them. Like, this one seems to be a lot slower than I expected. Yeah, he's slower than I expected. Maybe they adjusted that. And you just basically use your movement buttons to steer them. So what I'll do is I'll wait till he's ready to gestate... And I'll get an egg from them and I'll make a bigger one. That may be faster. You just hit your E button to exit. I think I just let him into it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to my pet thing and do dismiss. He'll just be there. He'll be come back later whenever we summon him. So that's pretty good. Alright, so what do we do? One more time at the computer archive and then we're going to call this episode done. Encrypted. Here we go again. Interloper. Hey, we got it. Archive recovery. Data recovered 74. Search. I saw another one of them today pssst, on the space station. They looked at me when, like I wasn't there. Stared right through pssst, 
was just a geck when I returned. Imagining things? Okay. Additional data. Search construction. Base technology. I'm sure it is. Appearance modifier. Ooh. We can build an appearance modifier. Alright. Good. That's good. How much does it cost to build one of those? That's fine. Down here? Nope. Oh, there it is. How much? Oh, only 10 ferrite dust? Awesome. Um, let's put that... Put it over here. I want it. I want it out of the way. But it's going to require power, so we want to run power to it. We're going to have to do something about the power situation here. There. Run it to the light. There. We're connected in a very awful way. We really need to clean up the power situation around here. I could. I could make it prettier, but I'm not going to. I don't care. All right. How are we doing? It's dropping really fast. How soon before it goes empty? It says less than five minutes. If we go to these guys, it'll tell us how long before daylight. Which is a little more than five minutes, so we have a problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some stuff in here. Put some oxygen. And while grid power is still dropping, it should help. Oh, we've only got 50 KP available and 87 is being used. We definitely need more power. And probably need another battery. Alright, let's see. Can we build another battery? Yes, we can. Alright, let's build one more. I'm going to literally stack it up on top if I can. Yeah. Let's put it outside. Put it right up here. And then we're going to build a couple of... Can we build these? I need gold and I need metal plate. Gold. Gold. I need metal plates. I'm going to build at least two more of them. One, two. Okay, so we need to fix our power issues. There we go. Wire these together. Both the battery. And we're going to wire it down to the circuitry down here. Okay. Now, for the time being, what we can do is we can build another biofuel. Metal plate needed. It should be enough to extend the life a little. Okay. There we go. That will just hopefully keep my base going for the time being. So it slowed it down. Oh, actually, it's increasing now. We have 100 kilo KP available. So that's great, and that will keep us going for the time being. And then once the solar panels be able to kick in with the extra battery, we should be able to keep this base going for quite a while. All right, good, good, good. We need to learn more words, but we're going to do that next time. And we'll be, uh, hopefully, next episode, our scientists will be ready. Okay, so we're not ready for him yet. Okay. Let me just see. Nope, nope. One hour and seven minutes. Okay, so yeah. So we'll do the scientist next time we're here. Let's get out of this awful looking mess of a wiring job that we just did. Save real quick, and then we're going to call it. There we go. In and out of the ship. Main save point restored. We're all done here. Alright, so folks, thank you again for watching. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please hit the like button. It really does help the channel. And hit the subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing, especially if you've been unsubscribed by YouTube. Really appreciate your uh, watching this video. Any comments, questions, by all means, drop me a line. Glad to answer any questions you might have. And again, I want to thank you for watching. We will see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.